What's up, guys? Welcome to Divine Conversations. If you don't know already, my name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So what I have here for you guys, for us as a collective, as a community, I've got a Twin Flame reading. Um, and it's interesting because I'm saying that as if, you know, you guys would really be surprised. You really shouldn't be surprised at this point. I've been doing Twin Flame readings since I started this channel. And today is Sunday, March 29th. So Sunday tends to be Twin Flame Day here on Divine Conversations. At least that's something I'm working towards getting back into gear. Um, and all week um, I've been working on the monthly readings for April for all of the zodiac signs and you know I was saying okay well Sunday's coming you know we should we should probably stick to the schedule and do a twin flame reading but then um yesterday Saturday came around and I finished all the monthly readings and I sat down and was just chilling for the rest of the day and was like you know what I don't even know if I want to do a twin flame reading tomorrow the collective energies I'm not going to lie the collective energies have been really low vibration for quite some time um uh, for the past month, really, throughout the month of March. However, I didn't really start feeling how low the collective energies were until um, I came back from Puerto Rico. Yeah, that <laughs> that helped bring my vibration down a little bit because I was just so disappointed and so sad because I didn't want to leave. Um, I want to go back so bad. But I, I left Puerto Rico. I came back to New York. But by the time I came back to New York, everything was literally shut down. Um, I came back to New York just in time to be injected right back into the Petri dish of the coronavirus situation. And life has only gotten more extreme since then. You know, the situation here in New York has become pretty bad. Now, me personally, I'm, I'm one to self-isolate and quarantine and stay home and be a homebody anyway. So this really is not an issue for me. So it's not that, you know, I'm sad or, you know, of the extrovert disposition and needing to be out with my friends. Don't get me wrong. I love all you guys, all of my friends out there, but I'm good <laughs> being at home alone and staying in my room. So it's not the quarantine energy that's bringing the vibration down. It's just the current state of the economy and the world and everything that's happening. Um, so I really was like, I don't even know if I want to do a twin flame reading today. And yet I'm sitting here on Sunday. It's about 9.20 in the morning. I've been sitting here with my coffee just going about my business, working on things, getting my ideas together, because there are a lot of changes coming to this channel um, that you guys are going to find out about halfway through April, probably. Um, I still have some more planning to do, so there are a lot of changes. Just be aware of that. It's coming, guys, but this is a lot. This is on a collective scale, but not just for the channel here, but I was just sitting here going through the motions, doing my planning, doing my creative work, getting myself in the in the flow and that's when spirit came through and it's like eric we really need a twin flame reading today i'm like i'm sitting here like are you sure about that guys they were like trust me <laughs> yes please just do it we know you're not feeling as high vibrational as you would want to um but ultimately the guidance is needed here and so okay so just as a disclaimer it's not like i'm super low in vibration um, it's just that ideally, I guess from an egoic point of view, things are not as high vibe as I would want them to be in order to bring forward the best message for you guys. However, I feel like it, it spirit is right. It feels right. We're going to do this. Um, and for the longest time, I've been trying to restructure the readings and figure out how I'm going to do this because, you know, I've got a Taurus sun and a Virgo rising in the Western chart. So all of that. And even in a, in a Leo moon in the Western chart, so two fixed signs and immutable signs, so like, and two Earth signs. So like, I want everything to be consistent. I want everything to be the same. I don't want anything to really fl to to fluctuate, blah blah blah. But shit just ain't going down that way, guys. So I don't even really have a full structure for this. Um, I'm really just gonna wing it and see whatever messages come forward for us that we need at this time, and I'm just gonna bring them forward and and let them reign true. Um. Oh, I wanted to say this. Um, I do have a Patreon account now. If you guys want to support me there, you're more than welcome to. My plan in the future is to continue bringing collective readings to YouTube for everyone to see, free of charge, obviously. Um, but then I'm going to start moving a lot more of the specific detail going deep into the Divine Masculine and deep into the Divine Feminine over on Patreon. 
Um, I did want to get a one more, at least one more installment of the Twin Flame Collective messages out for you guys for YouTube in full so you guys could have that. And if you're interested in maybe supporting me on Patreon and going a little bit deeper in things, you would kind of get an idea of how I'm trying to do that. Again, I don't have a structure right now. Um, there really is no need for too much of a solid structure. Everything in the world is in flux. So I'm just going with the flow, going with the energy, much to my Virgo rising chagrin. <laughs> but um, so keep that in mind, guys. In the future, things are going to be moving over to Patreon in, in certain situations, in certain aspects. But for now, I'm going to keep it open and I'm going to let you guys, I'm going give to give, give you guys as much as I can right now. All right, so I guess that's as much of it. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get notifications on more of when, like, more videos and more lives, because I am going on, planning on going live much more in the future, hit that notification bell so that you can see when I go live and when anything is released. Yeah. All right, kids. So with that said. I'm going to readjust the camera here so that you guys can see the set or see the the cards and the table and everything that's going on here. And we're going to get into these energies. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all so very much. Let's do it. Alrighty, kids. So here we are. Um, got the space. Yay. Okay. So um, let's take a second. Let's just connect. Let's all breathe. 11 seconds on the counter. That's awesome. We're in alignment. Twin flame energy. All right. Um, keep in mind, time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. This reading is not dated. I wouldn't even know this is just, I guess maybe you could say this is your weekly message. This is your next installment. This is a timeless message. Um, it is influenced by the current energetic atmosphere. However, just like anything else on this channel and any other channel that, of, that, of, that a reader is putting out energy towards, to be quite honest, this is really just meant for whenever you are guided to watch this reading. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Um, also keep in mind that this is in fact a general reading. This is a collective reading. All right, guys, we're looking at the collective energies. So everything isn't necessarily going to resonate with your own personal situation. So please, please make sure that you take what resonates and you leave what doesn't and you are discerning about what actually does resonate with you and what doesn't resonate with you, okay? It is my intention to bring forward the guidance, the clarity, the messages that are going to help us en masse, okay? So this is not necessarily meant to be a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading, I am 100% open for that. Go ahead and, and <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and email me. All the information can be in the, found in the description box below. Alrighty, kids. So enough blabbering. Let's get to it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for this current moment in time or for whenever these messages are, resonate, are meant to resonate with anyone and everyone. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, look, for, first things first, guys, the first thing that I'm hearing for the Twin Flame, Twin Flame Collective right now is that energy, that the, I'm hearing dire straits. I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, personally, me, for me personally, I don't feel like I'm in that dire of a situation. I mean, other than the fact that, you know, everything is kind of disheveled right now. Um, but I guess what I'm hearing is that this is in terms of the masculine, the divine masculine. And it's interesting with this whole economic shutdown that we're experiencing right now, it kind of makes sense that those of us that would be more heavily rooted in the physical or, or more masculinely dominant, especially if you are still part or wrapped part of, or wrapped up in the kind of 
oof, spirit is saying misogynistic, twisted, um, patriarchal type energies and all that kind of stuff. And with this, everything being shut down now and everything coming to a close for at least a, a, an extended amount of time and none of us really knowing when it's all going to ramp back up again, when it's going to be back to normal again, it, it seems that those in, it, it makes sense why things would be, would feel quite dire at the moment. However, I don't think it really is that dire. For those of us that are more on the feminine side of the situation, we've been working towards building up our reserve, building up our foundation outside of the matrix, outside of the patriarchy for at least some amount of time. I know for me personally, I've been doing this consistently over the last two years, ever since my big activation in 2017, the summer of 2017. Um, so I've got this pretty good under my belt. It doesn't mean that, that there aren't moments where it's like, okay, well now I'm, I'm, I'm fucking nervous, man. Like what the hell is going on? It's like, what are we going to do? But every, but even in those moments, so if you're finding yourself in those moments, fall back on what you've learned, fall back on your foundation of receptivity, being in the flow. It's the divine masculine's turn now to learn about that, um, to, to, especially with the rise of the feminine energy. Okay, now is that time to really get connected with your inner self, with your inner feminine, with your inner guidance system, with your guidance team, with your higher self, with your spirit team, your spirit guides, your ancestors, or Orishas, uh, deities, whomever it is that you resonate with, the angels. Now is really the time to work on your vibration and work on your alignment especially for those that are heavily rooted within the masculine energies, because now the physical structure that has potentially kept you from resonating with the feminine or, or, or diving into the feminine or getting into that receptive mode, that's all gone, or at least it's shut down for now. You can't do anything about it. You really just, this is really a time of being in that receptive energy, okay? Okay, so that's could be that really could be why things are feeling so dire right now. Why I'm getting that message of the dire, the perceived direness or whatever <laughs> of the current period. All right, so I'm gonna start with the energy oracle deck, and I want to look at what the current energetic state of the whole collective, both masculine and feminine. What is the current state? What is the current message for the divine? Ooh, okay, we're, we're good. So what's the current state of the Twin Flame Collective as a whole, okay? As a whole, overall, both between combined masculine and feminine energies. First card out is deceit, guys. Deceit. Okay. Let's get one more card. Why is this deceit here for the Twin Flame Collective? Woman holding a coin. You guys, okay, actually, I want to get three cards for this. I'm feeling, feeling there's one more card out here. But this woman holding a coin, if you've been watching any of the, the monthly readings, wow, <laughs> holy shit. Any of the monthly readings that I've been doing uh, for the month of April, this card of the woman holding a coin has been coming out quite consistently like it's been it's been all over the place and for me as a reader what this is really speaking to has been the rise of the divine feminine energy but not only the rise of her energy spiritually but as the divine feminine keeps going up and up and up and keeps gaining more and more power she's becoming more and more consciously focused within the physical it's as if as more and more of her energy becomes usable, becomes um, balanced, becomes accessible. There it is, accessible. More, it's, it's like directly proportionate to how she focuses her energy in the physical. How, excuse me, how, what Spirit is saying, how she grounds her energy in the physical. And what I'm getting with this, you guys, and now this is for the collective, the masculine and the feminine, okay? combined. We are going to go into specifically how this is affecting the feminine, what this means for the feminine, and then what this means for the masculine. But overall, the collective energies for 
the whole collective, both masculine and feminine, is directly affected right now by this rise of the feminine energy. And what I'm feeling for the Twin Flame Collective right now, you guys, is that the arc of how things flow, the, the, the direction that you're moving in, the end result is heavily hinging on the Divine Feminine right now. Um, and as she rises into power, more and more of this deceitful energy is being understood, is coming into focus, is, um, is uh, what I really want to say is being realized. So on an individual level, what I'm picking up for you guys here right now is as the Divine Feminine, as you move into more and more of your power as she becomes stronger and stronger or for you as you move more and more into your power more and more of this deceitful energy is being I'm, I kind of want to say blown wide open and it's really making you rethink with seventh chakra oh my god look at this it's making you rethink with the seventh chakra Archangel Uriel seventh chakra would be your crown chakra what a true Care. Wow. A true caring connection, a happy family, and what real appreciation truly is. The arc of movement forward, the trajectory of the collective right now is heavily, heavily hinging on the divine feminine rising into power. And as more and more of this is understood here with this crown chakra energy, Thus, more action or different action, redirected action is being taken. Illumination with the sun. Wow. The angel of strength no longer being all tied up because of a broken heart. Because greater balance is being brought into the situation and healing. Do you see this? This just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Wow. Okay. So we're going to look. We're going to go into the divine feminine energy specifically in just a second okay look at that i mean that's basic oh my god i probably could have just keep going with the whole deck here all right um and so the what i really feel like here is the divine feminine is and again this is just the collective energy we haven't even gotten into the specifics yet but um the divine feminine is reshaping what romance is for her keep in mind that we're not talking about gender we are talking about energy here okay so with that said, I, I kind of want to go into the Romance Angels deck here and see what messages for the collective we have. And then I'm actually going to start breaking it down. I'm going to go into the masculine collective. I'm going to go into the feminine collective. All right. But let's see, especially with this door to romance and energy here, we're using, I'm using the Romance Angels deck and I want to see. So what does this mean for the collective? I'm going to give this one more shuffle both masculine and feminine combined. What does this mean for the collective here? What additional messages do we have for the Twin Flame Collective? Express your love. And for, the, and for a lot of us in the feminine collective, it's, it's exactly that. It's the lack of expression. It's the lack of acknowledgement even. Hello, deceit. It was the very first card that came out. And quite frankly, the, the feminine is getting into the shit, you guys. I don't, I don't know if you saw that yet, but I don't want to show you yet because I was in the middle of channeling that message when that card came out. But the, the, very, the feminine is really growing into her own sense of power harmony and union within herself okay so the less or the more you are deceitful and the less you express yourself the less interested the, the less interested she's going to be she is going to take her power back and the, the stronger she gets the more confident she gets right so she's going to take her love elsewhere she's going to move on to something else that some a situation in which love is expressed where there is no deceit new love for some of you, again, we're not even talking about the divine feminine, spe feminine specifically, but this is what's happening on a collective scale. For some of you, there is, in fact, somebody new that has stirred your romantic feelings. And whether this is actually going to turn into a long-lasting relationship or the desired type of relationship or connection that you actually want, that's yet to be known. But ultimately, right now... Either there is somebody on your, in your horizon, on your horizon, or in your sights that you are potentially looking to, 
ooh, to get with, I'm hearing Mary, okay. Others of you, it's just the fact that you have opened yourself up to this new love. It could be the fact that now you've got, you've reached this point where it's like the deceit that the, that the divine masculine has been putting forward or just this, the, the, the deceit around you in general has broken or your your attachment to that has broken and you realize that you actually can move forward to some sort of new love that is more balanced for you let's get one more card for the collective okay well we got two more cards looky here oh shit we have three cards all right so yeah some of you are in fact looking to get married engagement however your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this absolutely could just be between the twins between the divine masculine and the divine feminine and here let's say this even if you do have someone that maybe has tickled your fancy or caught your attention um it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that you're going to end up with them. Again, we're going to go into the, the, the divine feminine and the divine masculine collective respectively in a few moments. But what I'm feeling here is that as you let go of control issues, you move through a situation in which you start to realize what it is you're truly capable of or what it is you're truly deserving of. This is something that has been happening for the Divine Feminine Collective for quite some time. And thus, you move into a higher vibration. So you align with new love of a higher vibration and thus your love life ascends to a higher level of commitment. And that very well could be with the Divine Masculine. Again, that is yet to be seen. And then we do have f healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I do feel like that's mostly on the Divine Masculine Collective here. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so don't write yourself off. Um, I, and I'm going to be honest with you, that is something that I've been dealing with lately, you know, because I've been really working on letting go completely and working on being in a situation in which love is expressed, being in a situation where I can, in fact, align with new love that is of a higher vibration, regardless of whether it's with my twin or not, letting, letting go of control issues. Because ultimately, if the situation is deceitful or deceptive, it's not the highest vibrational situation to begin with. So you really just got to let that go. You really just got to let that go. All right. I want to get into some tarot a little bit. I want to see, again, still talking about the collective here, the combined masculine and feminine collective. Let's just see what we have. And then we're going to dive into the specifics. We're going to go into the divine mask feminine first, and then we'll dive into the divine masculine and look at their energies respectively. But for the collective, let's get one more shuffle. And also what I was picking up on, back to what I was saying for the collective in terms of dire straits or this energy is feeling kind of dire. That is partially or mostly, mostly on the masculine side. Why do I say that? Well, I say that because the feminine is on her rise, is gaining her power, is, is, is setting, it's putting down, putting her feet down, grounding herself, grounding the fullness of her being into the physical reality and the masculine can no longer hide the ma especially now in this time with the economic shutdown the masculine can no longer hide behind anything it's forcing everyone to reshape it's forcing everyone to rework their lives and so from the, on the masculine side i am feeling that with the feminine rising into her his or her power her power we'll just say it's become a situation where, yeah, the, the feminine really is walking away from the deceitful energy and is walking towards an energetic space where romance can be had. Again, guys, and this is something I've been saying ever since I started this, um, the whole twin flame situation, but the twin flame dynamic is really not fully or 100% about the romance. Yes, we do want romance. And ultimately that romance is going to come to us when we're in a place of whole, being whole and balanced and harmonious within ourselves. We have that sense of inner union. Romance is part of it, but it's not everything, okay? But that's what we're wanting. That's what we're moving towards. That's the message that's coming through here. 
Okay, cool. So, <laughs> so for the collective, both masculine and feminine, what do we have here? What can you tell us from the tarot, please, spirit? Wow. Would you look at that? Overall energy is the fool. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So there's a new start. There's a leap of faith coming. Definitely what I'm hearing is this is definitely on the side of, on the f divine feminine side of the situation of the equation here for the most part. We have the six of wands, the two of cups, the emperor with the king and the queen of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So for what I, what I am hearing here, that a union is coming through. And you do have the king and the queen of pentacles, all right? I mean, they are kind of not facing each other, but that doesn't really matter. Well, okay, all right. So what I'm feeling, what I'm picking up on, on a collective scale is, yes, you know, you have this king and the queen of pentacles. These are the counterparts in the, in the earth's, in the pentacles suit. This is the, this is the wife and the husband. This is the father and the mother. This, uh, these are, you know, the, this is grounding, this is security, this is balance, this is financial, it's the physical, okay? They are not really facing each other right now. And what I'm getting with this is because both individuals are in their own lanes or on their own corners or focused on their own things, trying to get their lives together. And what I'm picking up on mainly is for the masculine side of the equation, there is a huge scramble, a mad dash, to reshape things while the feminine is just kind of chilling there holding her own, all right? We do have the six of wands, which is good. This is victory, all right? Um, overall, this is good, but we have the two of cups with the emperor. And what I'm getting with this is six of, uh, uh, ultimate, ultimately, no matter how difficult this may be to channel, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm having trouble channeling this message right now because I personally am feeling quite a bit of resistance to it. And I will say that my guides have still been trying to tell me, please let go, please let go. But I'm still kind of dealing with a lot of the bullshit, you know, that has been, <laughs> that has been this journey. Okay, but what's happening here, what Spirit is saying with this is, at, is that divine counterparts are in fact coming together in the physical. But right now it is the masculine's turn to go through the shape up. Where it's, and that could be why things feel quite dire on the masculine side, because again, there's this mad dash, there's this scramble to reshape and reform themselves and to really step into this level of um, the emperor. But the patriarchy has a lot has a lot to do with that has a lot of an influence on the masculine energy right now and i really f and then spirit is saying that's where the the dire straits are and the, the, the dire straits energy is coming through the masculine is really having to reshape his life right now and take power back um and i'm picking up specifically that he's learning how to be in control without being domineering because then we also Keep in mind, guys, we have let, con let go of control issues, okay? So this is a big deal for the masculine collective right now. Um, I want to get a closing oracle message for the collective using the oracle of the angels, and then we're going to get into the feminine, and then we're going to look at the masculine. All right, oracle of the angels. Closing message just for the collective session here. One last shuffle. Okay, angels, what closing message do you have for the collective? Wow. Inner child comes out and it comes out in reverse. So what I'm picking up on here, there are some of you, I'm hearing it's on the masculine, divine masculine side of the situation that are absolutely refusing to get back to this sense of the inner child. What I'm hearing is to do your inner child work. 
um, because the patriarchal energy, the established energy is very strong within you and you don't want to have to change your scope. You don't have to, you don't want to have to wait to change the way you're doing things. You don't want to have to go within and find that inner light and help heal your inner child because you're fixed, you're rooted, you're probably become very comfortable in whatever it is, whatever process you've been in, whatever method you've been under, blah, blah, blah. And, but look, what I'm hearing from spirit is this inner child work is necessary. You cannot avoid this. And that's what I feel like is causing a lot of the panic that the divine masculine collective is probably dealing with right now because they're up because literally their backs are up against the wall and they're having to reshape their lives and the feminine has been doing this already and it's kind of like we're in the feminine aspect it's just kind of sitting there just kind of like with her arms crossed tapping her toes just like whenever you're ready buddy but at the same time she's also aware that if the if the specific counterpart doesn't shape up, doesn't do what is necessary for him to, 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 for the two counterparts to meet each other in the middle, then there is a new love that's going to come in. The, one, the, the, the divine feminine is not worried about that any longer. I mean, she's literally doing her own thing. She's already comfortable doing her own thing. And as time goes on, she just gets more and more comfortable with it. And the masculine is kind of in a panicked energy around that. It's like, I don't, I, keeps it's like that it's this energy of he keeps saying i don't know what to do i don't know what to do and spirit looks at him and says yes you do you've known all along but you're refusing to do it and also okay we do have believe in dreams so just because the masculine is going through a point is going through a period where it's like you know he's struggling against the work that he needs to do that's not a reason for anybody to give up Woo! Caught that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take that as um, uh, an energy of spirit trying to say us, yes, it's tell us, yes, please do not give up. <laughs> My, wow. Okay. Um, please don't give up on your dreams, you guys. Believe in your dreams. And also, I feel like that might have been a little bit of a temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to stop me from spreading this message, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Mm. Now, part of this believe in, in dreams energy, you guys, could really be... Like for the feminine collective, believe in the fact that you will be able to find love. You will. Regardless of whether it's with the masculine or not. Okay. So let's get into the divine feminine. So what does this mean specifically for... The divine feminine what's going on for the divine feminine collective now keep in mind guys as i'm doing this i'm not speaking to gender all right as i say all the time i use myself as an example i'm physically a male physically a man but um my energetic resonance is that of the feminine okay and you could be a physical woman and have the energetic resonance of the masculine all right so for the Divine Feminine Collective specifically, looking into your energies right now, <laughs> you know what I'm hearing for the Divine Feminine? Clean and clear and under control. That's right. Because she knows what she's doing. She knows who she is. She's not really afraid to be who she is. There's still a little, because I'm kind of seeing the Five of Cups for the Divine Feminine right now. So there probably still is a little bit of energy of still feeling regret, remorse, shame, guilt, um, embarrassed by this whole damn situation as a whole, just because it's like, ah, whatever. Divine Feminine Collective. Last shuffle. Let's see what we've got for you, Divine Feminine. What, so with, with all this spoken for, let's see. Wow. Okay, well, I missed something here. So inner child is card number 22. But then the other card we have, Believe in Dreams, is card number 44. Okay, and the two of those, 22 plus 22 equals 44. The divine masculine counterpart is that other 22 to the 22 that the feminine would hold, but it's in reverse. 
Believe in dreams though, because ultimately either you will align with your divine masculine when the time is right, or you will align with someone else that is much better vibrationally matched to you, again, when the time is right. Just wanted to put that out there. Okay, for the Divine Feminine Collective, the Divine Feminine specifically, where are you, Divine Feminine? Okay, the Hermit with the Seven of Swords. Um, the Divine Feminine has disconnected, has straight up disconnected, and is work, yes, look at this. Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck for the Divine Feminine right now. She also has not only the Seven of Swords and the Hermit, but then on top of that, she has the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So it looks like the Divine Feminine is really keeping her to herself. Um, with this Ace of Cups as the overall energy here, she's focusing on the love that she has with herself. She's focusing on her own cup. She's letting the Divine fill it as much as she can possibly allow. Um, and it looks like she's working on something. She's got a brand new idea, a new direction, new inspiration. This could be, again, this could be a new love that has sparked your interest, that you're really working on developing a new relationship, or it could just be a new passion project. I feel like the Divine Feminine is very much in an energy of going with the flow and doing her own thing and taking the opportunities that she can to work on bettering her life. Again, the woman holding a coin. Not only is the feminine rising in power, but she's really working on grounding that power. And she's not trying to let anybody in on it, especially not the masculine. Because quite frankly, it's none of the masculine's concern. It's none of his business. And he has nothing to do with it anyway. Because the feminine is truly working on her self. All right. Let's get a little bit more for the Divine Feminine Collective. Where is the Divine Feminine Collective right now? What are the... Yes. Yes strength with the oh strength with the emperor interesting so it that's really interesting oh and there you go there's the tower at the bottom of the deck look you guys so for the divine feminine either you're in this energy right now or this is your guidance here but you need to stay strong you need to stay strong because it seems, and I guess what I'm getting this is stay strong and resistant to the, the pulls of the divine masculine. And it's funny because I've been feeling that myself. Um, I've been very much in line with the, the feminine collective, focusing on my own thing, doing what's right for me, moving forward with my life and all that kind of stuff. And I have been feeling the pull of the Divine Masculine, but it's like, you know what, buddy, I can't do anything for you, so I really got to stay strong and keep to myself. Um, I mean, energies of, like, trying not to check up on him, see what he's doing. Is he okay in this whole pandemic? Has his life been destroyed like everyone else's in this whole pandemic energy? But quite frankly, that's none of my business. And you have the tower at the bottom of the deck here with, damn, Damn, you guys, with the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is the Divine Feminine being in her power, knowing what the truth is, knowing that she can't do anything about what the masculine, the, the state that the masculine's in. But what I'm getting with this tower energy is like she really straight up just doesn't care. And in many, in many respects, this really feels like the feminine is tearing down the, like ripping the tower down with her own bare fucking hands because it's time to let this shit go. And whatever that means, whatever whatever happens happens. Not going to get not going to get caught up on it, not going to really care about it because ultimately she needs to do what is right for her. So in many respects, the feminine is very much balancing or standing in her even her own inner sense of masculine power and taking her power back and setting the record straight and and and, and doing what is right for her. And this is very much the masculine or the divine masculine energy that's healthy and balanced. Okay, this is that protective energy that's like, all right, look, it is what it is. We have a mission, we have a goal, we have a life to live. So we're going to do everything that we need to do to protect ourselves, to protect our investment, to in protect our environment, to protect our families, to, to protect our sense of well being, so that we can be the effective advocate of change that we know what we are supposed to be in this world at this time. Thus, you have the tower with the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and Strength. Woo! Strength. All right. 
Oracle messages. I'm being pulled to the Ask Angels deck. So for the divine feminines out there that have any sort of questions, if you have a really pressing question that you want to ask right now, I just, I just saw, look at this. Is it there again? No. Okay. But let go. I just caught my attention. Perfect timing. Just caught my attention. Okay. But if you have any specific questions, go ahead and ask them now. If not, then just, we'll just see what comes out. But for the Divine Feminine Collective, what answers do you have for the Divine Feminine right now, please, Spirit? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. First card out is forgiveness. And the Divine Feminine, you've got to be forgiving of the Divine Masculine because look, this shit ain't easy. Okay, and just because, you know, we may be in a little more of an advanced stage right now because we have that, well, we have an advantage, guys, as the feminine, we have the advantage of being able to see things from an ethereal, universal point of view. I mean, that's, that's our strength. That's our strong suit. The masculine strong suit is the physical realm. So it's much easier for us to break free from the matrix than it is for the masculine. That's just how it is. All right. We can't hold a grudge because of that. Okay, sure, that doesn't mean that we need to, we need to, um, you know, be resentful and, 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 or we need to allow ourselves to be accepting of things that are lower in vibrational or something that we know we're not worthy of, okay, because we know we're worth more, but we still need to be forgiving. And this is my own message too especially with how much spirit keeps still keeps to this day telling me to let go. It's like, spirit, why do you keep telling me to let go? And it's Eric, because you're still swimming in this pool of resentment. Oh, you right. <laughs> All right, let's get, okay. We have in the near future. Interesting. It's up to you is at the bottom of the deck. So what this is really saying right now, you guys, for the Divine Feminine Collective, it's like in the near future, this could work out, but it is you, it is, is still in fact up to you. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's get into the Masculine Collective. So. For the Divine Masculine. And I'm hearing, yeah, dire straits. Okay, well, yeah. Um, and I, I got to, 10, 10. I do want to say, I, I mean, I'm hearing it's of no fault of your own. You were just following through with the programming. Okay, that's fine. But now what Spirit is saying is, but honey, it's time to break free from that. And it has been all along. You've known this. You've been hearing the message that your divine feminine has been sending you. You've been hearing the messages that the universe has been sending you. You've been observing the, the synchronicities. You've been seeing all the weird things that are happening that are, that are creating certain thought process in your head. No, you're not crazy, just like the feminine's not crazy. I mean, this shit is real, but again, dire straits. You can either go, th and this is why, masculine, this is why you are feeling these dire straits because you have been resisting. You have been resisting over and over again. And it's funny because it's like you take two steps forward and then six steps back. It's like you move forward, you get a little more comfortable with things, and then something spooks you and you go, not only do you go back to your old ways, but you dive head in all the way down and you try to get as deep as you possibly can to hide away from the new or the wisdom or the guidance or whatever is happening that is changing your life. But what you need to understand here, Divine Masculine, is that your life is changing because the world is changing. Not because your feminine is cost casting some spell on you or what blah. No, we all came here during this time period so that we can experience and accelerate the change that is happening and to aid the change that is happening on a universal scale, on the world, in society, whatnot, whatever. But okay. All right, so let's talk about this Dire Straits energy for you, Divine Master. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see. What is this Dire Straits? What are these Dire Straits energies for you? What's going on with the Divine Masculine Collective right now? What's going on? 
with the Divine Masculine Collective. Right? Okay, okay. Well, we have some mirroring going on here. Mm, we definitely have mirroring going on here. All right. Well, we have the Hermit. So that's the first level of mirroring. We also have the Ace of Cups, which was another level of mirroring between the masculine and feminine. We also have death and the devil in reverse. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Hanged Man. We have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups with judgment at the bottom of the deck. My, my, my. So, Divine Masculine, you are being called. Okay, we have more mirroring. Here's strength at the bottom of the deck with the Three of Swords underneath that. Look, my, Divine Masculine, you're being called. I didn't necessarily want to say it this way, but the Spirit just said, just say it, honey. You're being called to wake the fuck up. And here's that resistant energy. Death in reverse the devil in reverse, okay? But it's not so much resistance. As a reader, I, can, I take re uh, cards being in reverse a number of different ways. One, there's resistance. Two, it's something that's already been completed. And or three, it's something you're actively working through. What I feel like is going on for the Divine Masculine Collective here is this is something you're actively working through. Now, you're still in resistance to it. I am feeling resistant energy here, but it, at least it's something that's being worked on. It's, 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 it's a work in progress, we'll call it that, okay? You have the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Hanged Man. You're at a crossroads. You're really at a crossroads. Some of you are still dealing with karmic partners, um, like in a karmic relationship, whether that be a marriage or just a long-term girlfriend-boyfriend situation, girlfriend-girlfriend situation, boyfriend-boyfriend situation, whatever. Sexual orientation is not a thing <laughs> here, okay? It's more about energetic vibration. And that's actually a message that came through in my last Twin Flame reading that I did about two weeks ago where we were talking about energy or existence as a perspective or life as a perspective. I'm not a, not a perspective, uh, a spectrum, there it is. But you're at a crossroads and you're having to deal with the fact that, you're, that your divine feminine or your divine counterpart is not necessarily person, the person that you thought it was. And that's what's holding you up. It's not necessarily the person that you thought it was. It's not necessarily the person that you thought it would be, the type of person that you thought they would be. Shit, it may not even be the right, the same gender that you thought it would be. Hello, but ultimately you are at a crossroads here. And, for, and I'm picking up specifically with this Two of Cups energy, there are a lot of divine masculines that are trying to make a, the same old relationship or the same old relationship circumstances work, and it's just not working. And with you have that with, finally, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Um, the message that I'm getting for this divine masculine is you will find your salvation or salvation, yeah, I mean, I'm not, uh, okay. You'll find your salvation in loving yourself fully, in accepting this cup of love that the divine is trying to offer you, accepting the truth of who you are, the truth of who the divine made you into being. That is the only thing that is going to bring this circumstance, this 10 of swords to an end, to completion. You have strength at the bottom of the deck. You also have the three of swords. You have the eight of cups. You know, it's interesting because within masculine energy, what I'm feeling is like you have this vibrato, you have this false sense of strength built up that is creating heartbreak for you. But you know what's really going to be strong? What is really going to be an effort or a, a flexing that strength muscle? Walking away, eight of cups. Walking away from the things that you know are breaking your heart. I'm going to look a little more into this Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups energy for the Divine Masculine. What is this Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups energy? The Three of Wands. And that is, sim wow. More mirroring, you guys. More mirroring. Damn. Overall energy is the, oh my God, the all gifted. Woo, y'all, this shit is getting real. This shit is getting real. But there's that Eight of Cups again. Um... All right, so what is this Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords energy for you? Holy shit. 
you have the three of wands. The three of wands came out. And what the first thing this said to me is getting on your path. I mean, ultimately, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, so whatever this energy of dire straits for you is, it's part of the path. Everybody is here, especially with the hanged man energy. Spirit is bringing me back to that because the hanged man is all about and being stuck and stagnant, but reaching enlightenment through that, reaching a, a change in perspective through that. So no matter what's going on and no matter what you may be hearing, like me or anyone else within the Divine Feminine Collective barking at you... <laughs> Yes, I said that specifically. Everything is happening for a reason. It's all part of your path. It's all leading to your enlightenment, okay? But with that, you have more mirroring, you guys. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Wands. But with that, you also have the King of Swords, the Lovers, and yet again, the Eight of Cups, okay? So the, eight, the, the King of Swords is asking you to be as discerning as possible. Like literally see everything as it truly is. And I feel like specifically for those that are really rooted in the divine masculine energies, you are in this time period of an economic shutdown, you have no, I mean, there are no other distractions other than seeing exactly what things are as they truly are, as they have been all along. Okay, and there is a choice that you need to make with the lovers here. Like, sure, many of us in the Divine Feminine Collective are watching this reading right now and saying, oh my God, that's me, that's me, I'm the lover. Well, yeah, you are the lover, but hold on a second, like fall back a second because the Divine Masculine still has a choice to make. The lovers is ultimately about a choice. Yes, it could be a choice between romantic partners and that is something that's coming through for the Divine Masculine Collective. But at the same time, what's really going on here, the root of the situation is the Divine Masculine needs to make a choice as to what is truly right for him or her or not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is truly right for him, what resonates with him on a soul level, and what doesn't. A choice of vice over virtue. Vice being the wishes and desires and demands of everyone else around him versus virtue. What is his truth? Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. What really drives you? Who are you really? Three of Wands here does say, with everything being on, you are on this path. I mean, everything that is happening on your path right now is, is helping you get to this. And you do have the Nine of Wands, okay? The Nine of Wands is a persevering energy. I'm going to look a little bit more into that. But then overall energy here, you have the All Gifted. And this is a unique card in this deck that speaks to letting your light shine, being who you truly are and not being afraid to let that out, to let that light shine. Okay. Why do we have the nine of wands here for the divine masculine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. We have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Swords, which is representing the Divine Feminine here. Um, we have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, which is in reverse. And then we have the, yep, the Five of Cups. Okay, so check it out. The Divine Masculine is putting up a front. The Nine of Wands. He's wounded. He's sorry. He's spiteful. He's hurt. Yes, a lot of this hurt has to do with society, okay, um, and societal views. And for a lot of the Divine Masculine Collective, whatever has happened between him and his Divine Feminine has only exacerbated this hurtful energy. I will say that it's giving him a view into what needs to be changed in his life. But okay, you'll get to that when you're when you're meant to. But ultimately, Divine Masculine, you're in this Nine of Wands energy. You're persevering with the status quo because you're confused. Seven of Cups in reverse. And you don't want to make a decision. Two of Swords, you're in denial. Or it could just be you don't know. You're feeling paralyzed. You don't know what you don't know which way to go next. And really, logically speaking, for a lot of you, it's like, well, there's nothing else I can do but just stay with the status quo because this person has cut me the fuck out, Queen of Swords. She literally told me to hit the road, Jack, and don't you dare come back. But 
The reason why she's done that is because the energy divide between you is not in alignment. So you're just persevering, sticking up, keeping with the status quo. And every step of the way, your heart is continuing to be broken, three of swords. And thus you have this strength energy of keeping up appearance, but this is your ego. Right underneath that is the seven of swords. You're just gonna keep on going in this direction because you are rooted in everything that you know. And the feminine is here in this empress energy with her four of wands fighting you every step of the way. Or at least it seems that way, doesn't it? But she's only, what I'm hearing is divine masculine. She's only fighting you and this status quo energy and the direction you've been going in because she loves you and she knows that this is not authentic in any way, shape, or form. Okay. But ultimately, that is your cross to bear. And she's going to remain in that divine feminine empress energy for as long as she needs to. And she's lovingly holding space for you, but, ulti but also ultimately she's holding space for the counterpart that really is going to align with her. Okay, so I'm going to close this part of the masculine reading with um, some answers for the divine masculine. So for any divine masculines that are out there that are watching this, that are going through, that are dealing with these dire straits energies, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them now. But if not, just let the answers flow. One more shuffle, okay. For the Divine Masculine Collective, what answers do you have for the Divine Masculine Collective? Don't stop. Let's get one more. What answers do you have for the Divine Masculine Collective? What answers do you have for the Divine Masculine? Meditation brings answers. At the bottom of the deck, you do have Reconsider. I'm almost feeling like I don't want to interpret that, but, or any of this, I kind of just want to let you guys interpret it, but no, uh, spirit is asking me to, to do this. So don't stop is an interesting energy because initially you would say, okay, well, don't stop doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. You've got that right. The trajectory is correct because ultimately the path that you're on is leading you to where you need to go. So don't give up. Especially if you're one of those that are really, really trying to get in, uh, get in alignment with all of this, don't stop. Keep going, okay? Meditation brings answers. And you're, so, so you're being guided to rest and meditate, but also to reconsider. You do have success underneath that. Reconsidering will bring you success. Reconsider everything around you. Look at life from this point of view of the King of Swords and be like, okay, look at all the evidence and look at the truth, but look at your truth. What is it that you truly want? Make the right decision for yourself, not the way the status quo or the establishment thinks you should move, but what is right for you? All right, guys, I'm, oh, oh, hey, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, goodness, my tripod is acting up. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, it's a pretty, oh, look at my hair. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting time, isn't it? But we're going to get through this together, I promise. So I love you all so much. I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, yeah? <laughs> Take care. Mwah! Bye.